Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we're looking at the 6th grade concept of multiplication and division, specifically multiplying and dividing positive rational numbers, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So typically our positive rational numbers are going to come in the form of either fractions or decimals. So let's just make sure we understand exactly how we multiply decimals and what that looks like. So you might see something like this, 35 times 0 0.38. Well, that's horizontal. We're going to make that vertical. But one thing you need to keep in mind whenever you're multiplying decimals is you can just kind of ignore the decimals. So we're going to ignore the decimals. We're going to line it up just like we would uh, two digit by two digit. We don't need that zero right there. And we're going to multiply this just like we would a traditional two digit by two digit multiplication problem. We'll worry about the decimals when we're done. So eight times five is 40. Eight times three is 24. So we're going to have a two and that's going to be 28. Uh, the zero for the tens place and you just do this like you learn back in fourth grade and we'll add it and we'll get 13 let's see if we got a three now this is when we bring our decimals back in you count how many digits you have behind the decimal in your factors well i've got one digit behind the decimal two digits three digits so in my two factors 3.5 and 0.38 i have three digits behind the decimal that needs that means my answer needs to have three digits behind the decimal. So we start at the end, we bring in it one, two, three. So my decimal is going to be there. It's going to be 1.330. We don't need the zero in the thousands place. We're going to call it one and 33 hundredths. If we want to verify our work, well, we can kind of estimate 3.5. Well, that's three and a half. That's pretty easy. But take a look at this 0.38. That's less than one. That's about a third. So really what we're going to do is we're going to take about 3.5. And your 0.38 is about one-third, or a little bit more than a third. So if you take that and you divide it by 3, well, 3.5 divided by 3 is going to be a little bit more than 1. 1 point something here, and that's going to get me close to 1.33. So just using a little number since to make sure we're correct. Now let's look at dividing decimals. So we have a horizontal problem here. 2 and 875 thousandths divided by 2 and 3 tenths. Well, if we write that like our traditional long division here it's going to be slightly different we're not going to completely ignore the decimal we just need to get our decimal out of the divisor you don't want any decimals in the divisor and so what we're going to use is our property of operations and we're going to we know that if we multiply both of the terms our divisor and our dividend by 10 we're going to get the exact same result so for example let's say we had two into 20. Well, 2 into 20 is 10. That's pretty simple. But what if we multiplied both 2 and 20 by 10? Well, that's going to be 20 into 200. Guess what? You get the same answer. You can add a 0 to both the dividend and the divisor, and your answer is the same. What if you multiplied the 2 and 20 by 100, and you got 200 divided by 2,000? Guess what your answer is going to be? The exact same. So what we can do is we're going to multiply both the divisor and the dividend by 10. And what that's going to do, 2.3 times 10, is going to move our decimal over once. And we're going to move our decimal over once just so we get that decimal out of the divisor. So we're not changing the, dis the digits. We're moving our decimal over one time. So now it's 23, but our 2.875 is now 28.75. Now we can do our division like normal. So 23 doesn't go into... 2, but it goes into 28 once, and so that's going to be 23. And then the rest of this, as long as you line up the decimal here, is just traditional long division. So that's going to be 57. It's going to go in twice, and that's going to be 46. And hopefully we'll be able to finish this here. We're going to get that down to 5. And it looks like it's going to be 5, and that is going to be 5, because 5 times 23 is 115. So if you are dividing decimals, you can move the decimal in the divisor over as many times as you need to to get it out of the divisor. Just make sure you do the same thing with the dividend. The final thing you need to remember when multiplying fractions is that when you see the term of, or when you can use of, three-fourths of, two-thirds. Of means times. So we're looking at three-fourths times two-thirds. So we can multiply fractions straight across that 6 twelfths. We're going to reduce that to 1 half. 